Sean's kind of the low level 69 X Max. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> they call him TL69. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like Takashi69, but I don't snitch. Welcome to the Gentleman's Den, the Valtrex for your ears. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. It's just Jeff and Sean this episode. Just us. And it's episode 69. Oh, oh, oh perfect. Two dudes. Two dudes <laughs> talking about... 69. 69. And we not to this out, we should get a tally of how many times we say 69. <laughs> so yeah, we should. <laughs> I want it to be exactly 69 times. So is that five already? Or we have four. <sighs> that was probably four 69s. There's number five. For All you. right. Does that one count? I mean, I said 69. There's six. All right. <laughs> So basically, we wanted to do something special for you guys tonight. We're going to analyze and break down the 69 like you've never heard it before. (laughs) In-depth analysis. I'm talking mine and the stepchildren. You know, a little manscaping beforehand. What to, what to, just what to be prepared for. Yeah, make it, make it sure. Sean is, uh. Making sure your grundle shaved, you know. Yeah. Sean's kind of the local 69 expert. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> they call him TL69. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like Takashi69, but I don't snitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're a true gangster. You are a, tr- you are a true OG. <sighs> Word. Oh, my God. Fuck that guy. What would your name be? Like, let's think of your name right now. You got to think of Magilla69. <sighs> it's got to be. <laughs> I mean, they've been calling me Magilla for fucking ever now. I just love Takashi. Like, getting 69 tattooed 69 times is something like two 10 year olds talk about. <laughs> I just love the fact. Did Let's you, get 69. Did you see the video? Oh, my body, 69 times. Tommy. Did, did you see the video of him and Meek Mill going at it? No, I didn't. Like, I would I would really like to fist fight Takashi 69 because he fights like a fucking 10 year old girl. I mean, some 10 year old girls are tough. No, no, no. It's the, the over the shoulder slapping motions. Ah. <laughs> uh, and I, I hope somehow he didn't I even have a closed fist. I, I hope somehow it finds its way to him. Cause I will beat the brakes off of Takashi six nine. I believe we're up to mm. seven now. <laughs> Maybe eight. Now yeah, we're talking about a fight, right? Not an actual sexual performance. No, no, no. I will fucking punch my fist through his stupid fucking head. And knock his rainbow grill out of his mouth. <laughs> Oh, you want it all over your cock, don't lie. <sighs> it well, the, it looks like a fruit striped gum. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> <sighs> now, we, uh, Jeff and I are doing this just because, uh, well, we like putting the content out and we're going to keep this thing rolling. Yeah, we had a possible guest lined up and that didn't go through and... Frankie's uh, watching a movie with his father. He's going to be watching a lot of movies with his father. That's just what happens. That's what happens. They were doing a painting last night. I saw a beautiful painting. Well, his dad's like, his dad's like all into just, his dad's all over the place right now. Obviously, yeah. the medicine's completely fucking with him because he's like all over the board. In, and uh, now he's got YouTube on his phone. Yeah. And so he's just vortexing oh. nonstop. 
Frank is like, bro, my dad's like, he's watching this cooking thing. Then he's watching this. Then I guess a Bob Ross painting popped up. Oh. Showed like Bob Ross drawing those happy little trees. Happy little trees. And uh, yeah, so he's like, let's do that tonight. I could paint some trees. <laughs> you know what, though? That's a good thing because at least it's he's doing something. He's not just fucking. Dude, yeah, it was awesome. He's not just sitting there waiting for death. Yeah, yeah, he's still enjoying life to the fullest for sure. Yeah, that's. But yeah, he just went down the the vortex. He was talking about. Well, he's seen some cooking show first, so he's like, "That's what we're having for dinner." <laughs> and then the painting thing. Actually, I don't know whose was who. But, I think I think the best one was probably their mom. It was Frankie's mom. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have money. I don't know. I, I, because I think she went to like one of those paint and sips with our our moms. Yeah, she actually made a pretty decent one. Yeah, those, uh, paint parties. Yeah, there's a. Well, that was like me today. Like, the movie Chef. Every time I watch that movie, I'm like, I need to buy a food truck. I want to do that. That's what I. If I had, the. Hundred grand of for startup to do it. That's what I would do. Is I would buy a food truck, make sandwiches, yeah, and just hang out on the beach in the summer. And would feed. it be called the sausage cart? No, I don't know if we'd serve sausages. No. Why not? It'd be a, the TG. Why can't you serve sausages? I, I don't know if I, it depends on the menu. It depends on what I get. Oh, it'd be a different menu every day. You know what I mean? Can't have a taco truck. Tacos. Can't just make tacos all the time. Why not? Bro, there's a hundred taco trucks. Gotta have it something I different. I know. We can have Polish sausage. <laughs> get the, get the, <laughs> and the meatball cut. Hey. <laughs> fucking Sicilian <laughs> handshake. <laughs> So, all right. So speaking of, all right, man, shape. go back to your business. <laughs> Finish it. I interrupted your story. I'm such a jerk. You were like no. talking about your dreams, and I just came in there. No, it's just ah, chopped them down at the knees. You fuck. It's just one of those things that, like, even back in the day, like even when I was working as an electrician when my when I was like 19, a food truck pulled up, and the guy was just showing me all these pictures he had from movie sets of him next to stars. Yeah. And I'm just like. You want to get close? Well, yeah, but I'm just saying. I'm like, dude, that's fucking awesome. All you do is go drop some goddamn sandwiches off and meet Brad Pitt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Try and 69 him. <sighs> I'd just shake his hand and say, hey, man, fight club, right? <laughs> yeah. Thelma and Louise, huh? Yeah. Legends of the Fall. You're the man. Terrific. True nah. romance, brilliant. True romance, but yeah, I don't. Know, it, I think it's just the fact that you're working for yourself is what the main goal. Yeah, that'd is. be nice. Yeah, I think having finding someone with me that would just take the orders would be perfect. Yeah, like a woman. <laughs> Sure. If you want to be, if you I want knew be, it would be a woman, you sexist pig. No, it wouldn't. It would because you gotta be, no, you gotta be in a hot ass truck for yeah. a few hours. I'd rather have a. You want to be with a man in a sweaty ass truck for a few hours? Hey man, <laughs> dude, sweat. <laughs> that bro sweat, you know, it's not much like it. Did you get the bro sweat? No, but I mean, I just so think you it's basketball and everyone's hot. I just Catch think a glimpse of Johnny's balls through his short shorts, and you just hug each other after a good whiff. <laughs> <laughs> I just and think you guys hit the shower, <laughs> maybe the ball dryer. <laughs> I just think it's a good, uh, a good way that you can, you know, fuck. Oh, the winter's here. Fuck it. Let's take the truck down to Florida and go. Slang yeah, food. that's your business for sure. I, you know what I mean? I don't wouldn't have a food truck around here during the winter. 
like the only reason, the only way I would here. I would do a food truck around here was to hit up like the companies, the factories. Just be oh, out yeah, there for sure. Just be out there for an hour. Do you want like an actual truck, not like a roach coach? No, no, no. I want the the actual truck, like the one where you like cook in the back. Yeah. It's not just the fucking vending machine on wheels. Yeah, no, I don't. I, no, I want the the fryer and all that shit right there. And just, yeah, you know, think about it. you go down to fucking Florida or. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna cut these later. You know, you go down somewhere where they don't have like cheese curds from up here, and you can do a nice fresh cheese curd. You know. Shit, just a Wisconsin food truck, so it's just beer battered everything and, <laughs> and cheese curds. Oh, fuck. This beer bit back. It happens. Started to foam up. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, 69. <laughs> is it going to be the Bang Ham Van? <laughs> <laughs> it could be the Bang Ham Van. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Just the you back. remember the first time you heard what 69 was? I remember. It's a young. Dude, so young. A young go hard. So young. You'd just be drawing 69 everywhere after you found out. It's uh-huh. dick suck dick. It's hilarious. <laughs> That penis is going in that mouth, and that <laughs> penis is going in that mouth at the same time. <laughs> I never looked at it in, in, uh, in two men doing a sixty nine, buddy. That's what when I that was my first introduction to sixty nine. Because if you draw it, that's a mouth, and a penis is going that way, and then there's another mouth. It's dick suck dick. <laughs> And then you could like fuck with your boys. Like, dude, you probably 69, your brother, queer. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know how kids talk, man. It, it's They just blurt shit out. We have no idea what it means. No one even knows what a queer is, but you say it because yeah. you kind of know. A hundred percent. Those are fun. No, it's like the first time, you know, you heard like someone get called something. Like, oh shit, what the hell is that? <laughs> Fucking cunt. You're like, ooh, what's that? Ooh. I like ooh, the way that cunt? I like the way that it rolls off good. the tongue. <laughs> ah. It's like f- hard and like ugh, ooh, it's like it's, dirty. It, that's an abrasive word. That is an abrasive oh, word. So we can kind of go into this, but you watched Willie's Wonderland. Yes, sir. Um, starring Nicolas Cage. Have you watched the History of Swears Yet, hosted by Nicolas Cage on Netflix. I turned it on, and I ended up having to go do something. I was doing yeah. laundry or cooking something, and came back, and it was like, it was, you know, are you still watching? So I never went back and watched it. Oh, no. Yeah. I want to watch it. It looks so good. I just, so much stuff to watch. Yeah. Oh, I and watch. With the little ones. The little little bastards running around all the time. Yeah, kind of hard to watch the history of swears. I watch. even though her, yeah, well, the kid's mother is swears more than I do. Yeah, we swear in front of the kids. Yeah, I know. all the time. I, I, I do too. They know what it is. We don't swear at them. Why? I lied. We do that too. I'm just trying to be honest on this podcast. <laughs> Yeah, but no, it's crazy. Like everyone, don't swear on the kids and stuff. Like they, they know what swear words are, and we've been swearing around them since they started breathing. They know not and, to uh, say them, um, right? Dude, they I know they don't swear. I've never heard them swear. I, I know grew, they swear, not to us. I grew up around adults swearing Ooh. all the fucking time. Yeah, and look at you. I fuck yeah! I dropped the fuck. I I I got truck in mouth like a Christ. motherfucker, man. But you know what? It's because I'm so smart. It's it's so smart. It's the way I look at it is swear words are uh, the cherry on top of the conversation Sunday. Right. 
You know what I mean? And it's fun. Yeah. When you combine a bunch of swears together in a sentence and it just flows. It's whew, like, it's like the feels Bernie, good. It's the Bernie Mac joke. Motherfucker, motherfucker is a person, place, or thing, and it's an action. <laughs> Motherfucker is the only word that you can, that is a person, place, thing, action, or an insult to somebody. Because you can say, you see that motherfucker Johnny over there? That motherfucker owes me 35 motherfucking dollars. Why is it a, it's like, I know that like you just said, there's a bunch of different shit for it, but why was motherfucker like ever an insult? You're a you're you're a motherfucking cocksucker. Like, I don't know. Well, what am I doing? And my fucking brothers are sucking cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Might be doing both. Maybe the, the mother's got a cock. You never know. It's in, 2021, in, in, baby. In these times, in these Woo. times, your motherfucking cocksucker. <laughs> He's like, how did he know? Uh, <laughs> how did she know that mother had a cock? <laughs> 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 your mother's but seriously, pussy so you're, tight. you're fucking the mom. Yeah. Hey. How is that ever like an insult? It wasn't like dad fucker. How come dad fucker? Yeah, father fucker. Father fucker. <laughs> you father fucker. <laughs> I think that's it. We're taking it yeah, back. We're starting. We're starting it. You father fucker. Fuck you, you fucking father fucker. <laughs> <sighs> like a dad or a priest? Yes. Both? <laughs> <laughs> if it's a priest, he might be a a uh, fuck. I, I don't even know what you'd be. <laughs> you, you'd be the sperm receptacle for a father. I guess they should let those dudes bang. They got all that tension. Well, they'd stop letting them bang because they were just getting all the pussy. <laughs> yeah, you got to get closer to God. How do dude, you get- if you were like a, just imagine, dude, you're like a, this is like back in the day, like you're a priest, you're going to town to town, speaking the Lord's fucking and goodwill. Slinging dick. You were like, honestly, you were probably a rock star back then. First of all, you were like only five people on the planet that could read. <laughs> So well, that's like well, and that's the thing is that's oh my god, it can read Becky. That's the problem I have uh, with most organized religions is because everybody made their own. You know, look at the Mormons. Oh yeah, you can take as many wives as you want. No, that dude was just horny and wanted to fuck all the time. Yeah, because wasn't he 14? He, like, just found his penis. Yeah. And he came up with a religion. He's yeah. like, yeah, just making shit up a 14-year-old would. I'm going to have fucking 15 wives. Most of these, about 90% of men don't even like the one wife they got. <laughs> so an adult would never come up with this religion because an adult male would be like, no, <laughs> one wife. One wife, that's it. No, because we all know they sync up and then you got... One month out of the year, or one, oh, no. one week, one week out of the month of just pure hell. Fucking Shark Week at Shark Cooch Creek. Shark Week. Oh yes, this is a bit Blood misogynist. In the water. This is a bit misogynist, but it's also explaining. We're explaining. This is how dudes think, ladies. Yeah, we're explaining how religion works in some religions. Yeah. Oh. I read I read out of my out of my hat and I read the three magic stones and this is what they told me. Well he had the didn't he have like some magic thing that only he could see through? Yeah, it was it was the three magic stones that he had in his hat. Oh, the magic stones in his hat. Yeah, and he would stuff his face in his hat and tell his friend what the stones <laughs> said and had him write it down. This sounds like some kind of John Smith. Sexual Good for you, John Smith. Is that his name too? Yeah, John That's Smith. That's a made up name. No <laughs> one's named John Smith ever. No, nah, he's John Smith. Except for that guy from Pocahontas. His name is John Smith. Salt Lake City, Utah, baby. Stand <laughs> <Jeez>. up. 
<laughs> Claim to fame. No, I mean, yeah. Well, the reason why priests can't have couldn't have sex too is the it was the king's order. It was the king, God. No, no, it was like the all the one one priest fucked one <laughs> girl that a king wanted. Oh, uh, and just so he made it. King. He the made it, and he's like, nah. Priests can't fuck. That's against the that's against the will of man. Ooh. And that's what that's shut fine. it down. That's what shut it down. Fucking father fuckers. Like I said, <laughs> you find all kinds of types of cool shit in the Bible. In the Quran. But you're picking and choosing. You're not following it. Because if we were following it, none of us would be eating shrimp, and you could, and you'd still be able to stone your wife. Really? Yeah. How big? Any size to stone? Death. To death. Jesus Christ. Speaking of, that'd be a shitty Speaking way to a go. a dark turn, bro. That'd be a <laughs> shitty way to go, huh? How did he die? Oh, they threw rocks at him until he was dead. Come oh, on. Man, I watched such a sad video today. I don't even want to make anyone else sad. There was some TikTok video of a dog getting eaten by an alligator in front of its owners. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to see this. I can't the dog, watch like, that jumped stuff. in to go after the alligator, and the alligator just, ah. And, like, they're just screaming on the shore, no, no. I'm like, oh, holding the tears back. I can't. Whew. I can't watch. It's a rough morning. I can't watch that stuff. Just like the, I couldn't watch that movie. Don't fuck with cats. That was on that. I mean, I honestly, can't, it was really fucking. It was really fucking good. I can't watch that shit. I get so. It was. I get so infuriated. Just like the fucking asshole that threw that threw threw a dog off a bridge. That video. They popped. don't show like yeah. They I've, show what's about to happen. They don't show what actually happens. So it's still fucking sad. And that honestly is like, that's what everybody's heard about that documentary is like, oh, the fucked up shit with the cats. It gets even more fucked up. Yeah, I know. It is. I just. It's one of the best one, best documentaries, like one of those killer things that I've ever seen. I just I, I've watched like the Al Bundy one and all that shit, the, but this one the Ted Bundy, Ted. Al, Bu- <laughs> <laughs> Al Bundy's from Married with Children, sir. I know, starting high school quarterback. Four touchdowns, Polk High, baby. Woo! But no, yeah, Ted Bundy. There's a special place in hell for people that do shit to animals. Like hunting's yeah. different because if you're killing the deer to eat the deer, that's fine. But if you're going to fucking Africa to shoot a fucking elephant, I hope you get gored in the asshole and paraded around on its tusk. Yeah, but uh, well, that's a little extreme. No. Yeah, I see. I don't. I don't agree like that heartedly. I don't know the situation. Some of those elephants and some of those lions it's, tear the fucking shit out of villages, destroy their crops. That's different. But I'm talking about the reserve where they go to the fucking animal reserves. Yeah, the fenced-in bullshit. Yeah, those people. I, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about killing off a, you know, a rhino, a male rhino that keeps killing the other males off when it's impotent and it's killing the species. I agree, kill that fucking rhino. But if you're going yeah. over there to shoot a fucking giraffe, what the fuck does a giraffe do? It eats goddamn leaves. You're an asshole. And it's a big target, and they're not very fast, so how good are you, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> just big and slow. Big, slow, just out <laughs> big, of breath. Slow, friendly. Out just... of breath. Just <laughs> waving at people. It's Here got guys. its head way above the ground. Just head in the clouds. What a beautiful day with these leaves. Oh, Fred. Oh, yeah, it's delicious up here. Like, I understand killing an animal out of necessity. It's 
ruining your crops. It's, you know, it's eating three fucking villagers. I understand that. I completely understand. I'm for that. Yeah. But but you got to going to a wildlife reserve, going to a wildlife reserve and shooting a lion because you can't get your dick hard unless you fucking shoot something because you're so fucking sexually repressed. Bunch of father fuckers. Bunch of father fuckers. We're taking it back. Do you think Lion's 69? No. I think dolphins do, don't they? I think dolphins do. <laughs> they just... They they can make themselves look like a six and a nine, so it's it's even weirder. They can. I seen the greatest logo of all time. You're gonna have to look it up. I wish we had this all set up where I could put it on the screen. Yeah. Maybe I could do it. Do, have to do it. do I have to post haste? There's a huh? You have to do a po- a post podcast. Yeah, for sure. Can you pull it up in your phone? What am I looking for? You're looking for. Dong Fang. Dong Fang? Dong Fang. I seen it on the back of a uh, container ship. The Dong Fang logo. Might be the best logo I've ever seen. The two dolphins? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now tell me what those two dolphins are doing. It's a bigger dolphin <laughs> and a smaller dolphin. Fucking. <laughs> or is it a mother and a baby dolphin How jumping out of the you. water? It's like a hot teacher dolphin and her students. Oh, Jesus. That's Mary Kay Letourneau, the dolphin? <laughs> if, you, if you're just listening and not going to watch a YouTube video, I suggest you look up... Dong Fang. D O N G F A N G. Tell me it's not two dolphins fucking in mid jump. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Or, like I said, it's a mother and. Oh, that's real positive of you, Sean, on episode 69. Hey, you know what? I thought you were here with me. I, hey, man. I you can't... left me in the gutter alone. He. Crawled out and he showered off. He All right. clean so, shit. So I'm fucking this chick once, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, once? You've only had sex once? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm saving myself for marriage. What was his name? <laughs> Softest hands in the world, Jeff. Damn, bro. We got to get you laid. Ladies, you listen. This guy's desperate. <laughs> I, I you know what I can honestly say is I know I've gotten laid more recently than Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> He's quarantined, man. He's being safe. You're out here banging, banging skeezers. Hey, man, you're risking COVID and STDs. <laughs> one. Well, here comes my mother. One. Waddle it down. I wrap my tool, sir. Set up, boy. What? <laughs> it, oh, what are you doing? This is comedy gold. Go to bed. It's one in the morning. You drunk, bitch. Uh, yeah, we're, yes, the- we're doing a podcast live for the world. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, everyone. That was a special treat. Uh, Say hello to my mother. She's uh, down here yeah. cleaning up. Episode sixty-nine. Jeff's mom returns. Mom, uh, mom, okay. Warm up that meatloaf. <laughs> Two of them. It's my one one a.m. snack. And a cold beer, please. I never know what she's doing up there. Oh, that's funny. I let Leo out. Doc's just barking. So she goes down here to peek out the window. <laughs> In a COVID mission. <laughs> but she came down to hear the end of what we were saying. 
of <laughs> hear about me banging chicks during COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, we There's all we all have viruses. our needs. We all, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. How'd it go? How Frankie did, needs to get up. I'm tr- we're trying to get Frankie on some. Dude, he needs to hop on Tinder game. or something and just start swiping. Why not? It's a young buck. Needs to be out there. See, Maybe we should just give him a plenty of fish. Just make him a plenty Fucking of fish profile. account? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Just make Frankie a plenty of fish profile and then. We'll just catfish him. <sighs> It's I the think angles. he's yeah. It's the angles. He'd be down. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll name Francis sixty nine. That'll be his profile. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just Photoshop his head on Takashi six nine's body with a bunch of yes. face tattoos. Yes. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know, man. I, 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 I could, I. Uh, I give him his props for doing what he's doing, but man, he's gonna take that fucking protective coating off his dick and go get some fucking. I think that's what he's really missing is that. Yeah, just something or someone. I just say fuck it. Let's pitch him and buy him a real doll, and that he's got the girl of his dreams. <laughs> she doesn't say shit. Her stomach opens up. It's like a refrigerator full of Cokes. <laughs> She's always got a Coke in her hand. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. Let's just like, keep burying motherfuckers. So I'm fucking this chick, right? <laughs> All right. Where? <sighs> when? Is this the most recent? No. Well, uh. This is the story. You want me to tell you the story I told off air? Yeah, of course. Okay, so <laughs> it had to be uh, done in a quick, like, fashion. She had somewhere to be. I had somewhere to be. We had an naturally. Op- we had an open ten minutes, <laughs> folks. But and you couldn't even get a fucking CD ready. No smooth jazz. Oh, there was no Just. music. I'm trying to think of what TV show was on. I think it was fucking MacGyver or something was on TV. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it, may, it might have been Chappelle's show. I don't fucking know. It's not important what was on TV. What was important was me bending over the arm of the couch <laughs> and trying to pound one out as fast as possible. And for people to say squirters aren't real <laughs> they are they're the the unicorn if you will <laughs> and how did that go so <laughs> i'm so curious because I, w- I was trying to get it out of you before i'm like so i'm did you put down plastic no i this, like i said this was a <laughs> this was a quick job sir this was this was for me to get it, get in, get out, get over it. You know what I mean? So I'm doing my thing. I I I pull out to stop because I'm fat. So I had to take a <laughs> ten second break. <laughs> and as I do, I thought I knocked over a bottle of water on the floor because it legitimately it was just push. it hit the ground we both start laughing we both start and it was just it was a holy shit moment that made me more proud of myself than I could ever fucking be because I did that that's me. That was all me. <laughs> is that what you told her? No, actually, she said that was your fault. Is what she said. <laughs> and I said, I, I, I'll take full responsibility. Yeah, proudly. 
<laughs> so went back to it, finished. She left. I mopped the floor. That's the end of my story. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Fucking motherfucker. Legit. See? Le- legitimately, yeah. See, how's that a bad thing? It's not. Listen, I'm all for. See, I, I saw a video about. Uh, <laughs> not a porno. This was a girl complaining about why our girls look down upon as sluts for banging a bunch of dudes, but a dude could bang a bunch of chicks. In its simple, yeah. in its simple science, because the dudes have to ask, the girls give the permission. <laughs> so when you're giving permission to everybody, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? A, a guy will fuck a... No, 100%. A guy I, will fuck a grapefruit. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. If you're horny enough. Well, if a guy walks around a bar and says, you want to fuck, I mean, he might have to get to, like, the 25th girl or the 30th girl. If a girl walks up and says, do you want to fuck? First geez, guy. That guy is going to say, let's it, go. The only, <laughs> the only way the guy says no is if he is with his girlfriend or wife. Or he's gay. There's there's your three options. Yeah. Unless that's, he's gay curious. That's why I don't understand like the incel, all the guys that it's for, forced forced uh what's it called uh celibacy because they're too big of pussies to go out and get and then they shit on sex workers and shit on girls. <sighs> Because they, oh, they have because they have sex with somebody, dude. You gotta stop that shit because it's not a good look. Buy yourself a pocket pussy so you at least know what it almost feels like. A what? Because your your life is very very fucking sad if you fucking <laughs> shit on girls for. For being nice enough. Sorry, uh, yeah, not shitting on girls, but I laughing at that. I was thinking of fucking Fat Kenny's house. He had this little chihuahua. <laughs> this fucking dog must have went under his bed or something. <laughs> his dog, little chihuahua, comes out in the front room. He's chewing up this pocket pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, Kenny, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, my God. Rest in peace, Kenny. You were a good dude. Oh, love that dude. But yeah, could you imagine a little chihuahua just dragging out this fucking oh, <laughs> a rubber cannoli? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just oh, right to the living room. That was great. I said front room for those of you that don't know. That's what it's called. We've we've been through that one. All right, Jeff. Where's the oddest place? Oh. Oddest place. Oddest place. Keeping with the 69 um, theme here. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll just bury ourselves to ourselves. Uh, dude, before, I'll tell you, yeah, I, I hope, like, none of my family's listening. I don't care at this point. They don't give a shit. Nah. I'll tell you the most, before I tell you the most, well, the wildest, let me tell you the... Yeah, you got to tell Maybe me the, the weirdest. You got to tell me the story uh, that you got you held. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that one maybe later. Oh. Maybe that'll be the finale. Oh man, <laughs> I didn't know I was going on a journey. Was this Willie's Wonderland? No, the craziest. Well, yeah, well, maybe one of the weirdest ones went over to this girl's house. She just puts on the TV. You know, we weren't gonna watch it. So I'm sitting on the couch. She just starts going down on me. Love this story. I look up at the TV. <laughs> it's motherfucking Urban Cowboy. <laughs> How did you not bust instantly? So I'm getting a blowjob. <laughs> watching Urban Cowboy. John Travolta dance around. And you, right, well, and you, and you my ha- stamina is going to kill the night because <laughs> there's no way I'm getting... <laughs> I'm never forgetting to get this moment right here, right now. Still one of my favorite stories. You Every call- time I see John Travolta, that's you, all I think about. You called me 
right after it too, which was the funny part. <laughs> Bro went over to her house right after the bar, starts serving me up. Turns on a movie. What movie she turn on? <laughs> fucking Urban Cowboy. Urban <laughs> fucking cowboy. I'm like, oh, so you you came real quick, huh? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I don't even, I don't even know if there's a worse movie that that could happen. Oh no, there is. There's plenty. Maybe the volleyball scene in Top Gun. Oh. <laughs> What's like the funniest, dude? The funniest? Like the most awkward? Like like <sighs> I just explained, where you're just like, I I really can't believe this is happening. <clears throat> Wow, there's a, oh, uh, time I was leaving the bar to go to breakfast and was hooking up with a chick in the back of another chick's truck that my stepfather was driving. That was the weirdest, most (laughs) awkward. That was, that, I was fucking hammered. There's so much stuff that you can like that I see now, and it just reminds me of shit. I, so, like the urban cowboy thing. Every time I see John Travolta, I think about that that blowjob, that it, magical it, my night. Balls get so <clears throat> wet. <laughs> I had a girl too. We were fooling around. I don't think anybody had any condoms, and she's like, "Can't you just use that subway bag?" <laughs> So now every time I see a subway, oh, I, I get, think about that plastic subway bag. <laughs> <laughs> Took so long to get that paint off the side of my dick. Oh, my God. The smell. I, uh, <laughs> my dick smells like subway, and everyone knows so, what the inside of a subway smells like. How about... And just for the record, Sean, before we move on. Yeah. I didn't have sex with her with that subway back. Yeah, well, that's a smart move. How about getting cock blocked? Because I have one of my favorite stories of me getting cock blocked. Okay. Now I'm intrigued. And you know who? And you know who the cock blocker was? Because I've I've told you this story before. I've forgotten it, but I'm sure I'll remember as the. So we had a buddy story who was. Who was doing the impossible in our town at the time, which was going five for five, which means five different girls, five different nights. Girl number one, this is night five now. Girl number one is partying with us, and her and I were friends. We, we were cool. We, we flirted and all that shit, all that, you know, whatever. Well, she knew that she was out of the loop for him, so... I guess I'm sloppy seconds. All right. I, so hey, we're, bro. I mean, it's it's to the point where it's like, yeah, you want to go to my room? She's like, yeah, let me go have a smoke. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll meet you there. Go Are to you my, just laying awkwardly in bed? Go out to my room and. Were you naked? I was or not. Or did you wait? I waited. <laughs> I, 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 I had a pair of basketball shorts on, I believe. I can't the clamps read. on already or no? The nipple clamps or no? No, 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 <laughs> no. I was I was heating up the coat hangers as we, as oh, we were speaking. Jesus Christ! <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> so I sit there for like a I don't know ten minutes, take a piss. I'm like, ah, fuck it, just going to bed. Where is she? Didn't even think anything of it. I wake up the next day to get up to go to work because I. Had to, I literally had to go to bed. I had to get up and open the restaurant. And I look in our roommate's room, and it's the other roommate in bed with her. And I'm leaving, and I go, ha, what a fucking idiot. Loud, because I knew she was awake. So I go to work, and like a couple weeks pass, and she comes over. And I'm like, all right, what happened? She goes, well, 
her exact words, I really did want to hook up with you, but I went outside and had that smoke, and douchebag said, she was like, I really like him. He's a really nice guy, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, he goes, yeah, he's a great dude. Too bad he's fucking this chick on the regular. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. So I'm like, so you hooked up with him? She goes, not really, because all he wanted to do was jerk off on my back. (laughs) So I go, did we learn our lesson? And she looked at me. I'm like, did we learn our lesson now? (laughs) You know where to go, baby. And and then after that. (laughs) Not this room. This room, baby. I never hooked up with her. Wow. Should have taught her a lesson. (laughs) I'm like, my exact words. You should have spilled a cup of water on the floor. No, my exact (laughs) words were, I, I believe I said, well, that would make me the bronze medal. And I am a bronze medal. <laughs> yes, you were the last. Your two roommates got a piece. No, gonna technically the they really, he, the first roommate got the piece. The second roommate jerked off on her back. <laughs> That's it? That's it. That's. <laughs> That's. That's not even doing it. And that was. Wasn't the first time he he did that to me, which is hilarious. So he jerked off on your back. No, <laughs> no, he he tried doing it again with a girl that oh happened happened to possibly be a a adult ballet worker. Oh, <laughs> that I, I can't take this anymore. That I became friends I'm with. Plug my brain. Oh, uh, it was, dude, it was, you know, I had a, uh, a run of that, that house. Dude, yeah. The, that house was a den of fucking sin. Dude, I'm pretty high. I feel like I've had like a couple Draymond Green moments. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just been staring without blinking or moving my <laughs> mouth. Just kind of, just kind of <laughs> circling, circling the room. Oh man, this edibles full force right now. Um, I might eat these Skittles on air. Well, you know, Sorry for your I ears, mean, guys. I'm trying to, t- I'm trying to tell stories here. Try to- you tell them, bro. I'm a. Uh, Do you want to tell one I, I have, I've heard before, so I can go get another beer? Tell one you've heard before. Yeah. Uh, should I tell the uh, divergentizing of the house story? I th- I believe uh, that was I, I've told you that one before. Go grab your beer. I'll I'll. I, I forgot. So. So I'll catch the end, and I'll be like, so oh, yeah. The girl I was f- fucking on the regular. Her and I didn't talk for a little bit. We used to work together. It was a mutual kind of thing. It was. Uh, Two adults having adult fun. There was nothing more of it. Maybe it, it could have led to something, but uh, it, there was extenuating circumstances where it would not have worked out. I'm cool with it. I, and I'll say it on the air right now. I am probably the worst person to be in a relationship with because I go all in. If all you want to do is have fun, I'm fucking cool with that. But if... You want to cheat? Don't date me. I'm not a fan of that. And, and it's one time, and that's it. And it's over, and it sucks. Because I'm sure there's plenty of good girls out there that I've. I know there's good girls out there that I could have hooked up with, and they cheated, and now I'm still single. Whatever. So. I haven't talked to the girl in a while, and uh, I get a phone call from my my mother who said, uh, come up to uh, this bar we're at in, in town. So-and-so's here, and I told her you got your own house. 
Oh, shit. And I'm like, I laugh because I don't even have my bed at the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm legitimately, I've been there for a night. And so I go to said bar, pick up said girl, and I laugh because I go, I'm divergentizing the house before the owner and you. So I I do and <laughs> we had I had to uh, sand the floor because all I had was I had couch cushions Shut on the, the floor I had couch cushions on the floor and she did nails for a living so she, her nails were fucking like daggers and she was clawing the floor oh no so there was four claw marks in the floor like a fucking badger <laughs> hey here's a pro tip if you use uh almonds or not almonds pistachios covers the lines in wood so if you have a scratch in wood yeah you just take a rub a fucking nut on it just nut on it i thought, it was, over a, it. I thought it was a cashew it might be a cashew bro all i right. think it is a cashew all right yeah you gotta tell your finish story. your nut you gotta tell in the goddamn story you gotta tell your you gotta tell the story now because now I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> you gotta use the bathroom. Yeah, I'm two beers deep, bro. Bladder's starting to go. Jesus, you are old. Yes, I am. You old fuck. I don't even know how I'm gonna start this story. Maybe I'll just spoil it right away in the beginning. I won't even tease it. I'll just nut right away. Just throw it right at you. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So, story starts out dark, cool, summer night. The air was thick. The moon was bright. Headed to the club. Been uh, talking to this lady that I've been hitting on for a while. She's looking good. I'm feeling good. We decide to head back to my place. For the little nightcap. Now I told her that I lived at my mother's house. But I'm going to clarify right now everyone. My mother didn't live there anymore. That's right. She was remarried living out in another town. And I was at my mother's house. And I told her it was my mother's house. She assumed that my mother lived there. So she wouldn't come inside for a quick stuff. <laughs> we had to bring this turkey party. <laughs> the turkey <I'm> party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moral of the story. Hanging out with this chick, yada, yada. Go to the bar, go to the club. Bring her back to my mother's house. Now, she thought my mother lived there. She didn't want to go inside. I said, well, what are we doing? We get out of the car, you know, start making out outside, hot summer night. Things are getting heated. Yet again, she will not step foot inside. What is a boy to do? Two lovers trapped in a coral. <laughs> what do you do, Sean? We my, did the most my plausible son. thing I could think of. Went over to my neighbor's yard <laughs> <laughs> and had sex right there <laughs> on the grass in the neighbor's yard. So that is uh, probably the wildest. So here's like my, the werewolves. Here's my question: Why didn't you just fuck in the car? We were already out of the car. Well, why did you just go back in? The doors. Why would you do that? The doors it's open a perfectly again. Perfectly good yard. The doors <laughs> open again. I honestly, I have no idea why. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, my mom has a yard like right there, front yard. But we like maybe because there's trees. We had a little bit of uh, privacy. <laughs> this story makes me laugh every fucking time. Because I'm not shitting you, dude. I'm not lying. You can't make this up. I literally had sex in my mom's neighbor's yard. 
I had fucking dirt, <laughs> dirt stains on my knee. <sighs> <laughs> Can you imagine just driving past the the headlights hit? You just see fucking <laughs> a white ass glowing in the fucking night. Dude, I'm so lucky it's not a busy street whatsoever. Yeah, if maybe it, that's probably why we went over there because there's like trees in between the road. If it was. <laughs> And I'll ask you if that was fucking my house, I couldn't do it. <laughs> my, but not a chance. My house is the my. It's like a fucking the drag strip on my road, man. <laughs> Cars constantly rolling. Holy shit, bro! <sighs> wow. That was crazy. I like it was like I think about it now, and I was just like you. Why didn't you just go back in the car? Like I don't know because we already got out of the car. Make it out. All you gotta do is crack the windows. It was if it was a hot summer night, just crack the windows. I had a girl like that too back in the day when I used to live here. When my mother still lived here, she wouldn't have sex in the house. We would have to have sex in the car. See, <laughs> the problem I have with that is, for me personally, why is Jeff's car running? <laughs> For for me personally, six foot four. Like, yeah. Plus, you had a focus. Yeah, back of a car fucking ain't happening. <laughs> it can. It, yeah, it but but dude, I'll it's dare you. No, it can, and how it does because I've done it. Uh, passenger seat straight down, her on top. Oh, that's how I've been able to do it. Or him. Don't be sexist. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's her. You ever done it in a yard? I uh, did it in a porta potty at Summerfest. <laughs> That's even worse. Horrible. They were clean. God, I can't believe you didn't marry her. <laughs> How dare you? Why are you married right now? Because I, fucked, queen. because I fucked her in a porta potty at Summerfest. <laughs> and then what happened? You uh, just kissed her on the lips and about, sent her uh, back to about, get you a beer? <laughs> about two weeks later, that relationship was over. Oh, so that was your girlfriend at the time or some rando? It was, uh, I'm trying to think of how you would put it. It was uh, someone that we were uh, exploring our options. Oh. Like, Damn near every girl I've ever been with. We were exploring Just exploring her, her options? Exploring her options. Listen, man. I, I said it while you were gone. Hey, if I'm in a relationship, it's lockdown monogamy. I don't care if you go out with your friends. You can do whatever you want. I'm pretty laid back when it comes to that. But you fuck someone else, it's over. There's no coming back. It's done. Yeah, no. Because you do it once, you're going to do it again. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. And Through a night of endless and pleasure. <laughs> and I might not look it, but I can lay it down. You're a beautiful man, Sean. How dare you? Hey, I'm. I thought a positive mental attitude. I, I do have a positive mental attitude, but I also have a realist attitude. I you don't love I, yourself. How are you going to love anybody else, bro? I, I, I That's love, what I'm saying. I love like, myself you gotta, fully. Like, Fuck yourself. <laughs> then you can fuck others. Man, at 42, it's an aerobic exercise. It's an aerobic exercise now. Oh, yeah. Got in my cardio. <laughs> what are you drinking? A, I've only got 40,000 steps. No, this is an angry orchard, but oh. little did I forget that they don't twist off, so that's why it took so long. I went in the fridge. I had to go upstairs to find a goddamn bottle opener. This goddamn angry orchard, god damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> so I hope our uh stories of <laughs> Sexcapades Sexcapades and... of our younger selves, well <laughs> mine was legitimately fucking <laughs> the first story was legitimately like beginning of summer. <laughs> but <laughs> probably uh just Go down on your guy or your girl. 
That's bottom line. That's all we're trying to do here on the Gentleman's Den. We're trying to. This is episode sixty nine. We're 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 sp- we're spreading a sex positive message. Shit's crazy. I want to hear about other people's sexual adventures. We would have had that today for episode sixty nine, but unfortunately, our guest could not make it due to family obligations. Yeah. He was legitimately partying in Miami Beach. Like, I'm not. I'm not having. I him. saw the video. I'm not having him. I go. saw the video and I was like, "Yeah, he's not going to be on tonight. I wouldn't be on tonight, <laughs> and I'm a co-host." <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not having I'm like, him nah. close his fucking night out with his smoke show of a wife partying in Miami Beach. Not Salute a, to you, sir. Not a fucking chance. Hopefully next week. Because he's he really wants to come on. We'll see. We should, I wish we should have Frankie's like Frankie's a conqueror of like the cooch conqueror. He he's got some stories, bro. He does, and he's also got stories of just how stupid the girls were that we fucking <laughs> dated. I mean, the one told me to grab a subway bag. I've I've had some I've had some keepers. Trust me. Yeah. I've a uh, Frankie. Maybe when Frankie's on next week, we can kind of dive into back into this for a little bit. Yeah, I've honestly uh, dropped the ball more times than I'd like to uh, admit. Oh yeah, like for sure, done deal, and just been like, eh, gotta go. Oh, I, I have, and I just uh, <sighs> sometimes wonder why to this day. I. The li- the list of the ball dropping is just oh it's heartbreaking sometimes. It happens, bro. Hey, you it know happens to all of us. Yeah, I hope everyone's living their best sexual life. Listen, if and if you Don found and, and if you and if you found the right one and your man, if you found the right one and that's the one for the rest of your life, dude, I commend you. <clears throat> I commend you because make sure she has a great personality because. She ain't gonna be hot forever. Make sure. Same you, with the hey ladies. Same to you. If, Your dude ain't gonna be a fucking. He ain't gonna have those abs forever. I'll tell no, you what. No, he's gonna start looking like me. <laughs> or me. If, if, I had abs in high school. Yeah. I. It's just, so I turned about twenty-two. My abs said, "Go fuck yourself." Because this you're shit drinking came, way too this much. Shit came in. <laughs> It let me hang on to it for a year. I turned 21, and they're like, all right, this motherfucker's got a year to get his shit together. And I didn't. Honestly, but I'm I, having a great time. I want to commend Jeff because he went on a celibacy, celibacy streak when we, were <sighs> de- when we were DJing that <clears throat> the amount of talent that he turned down was fucking incredible. Beautiful. It was amazing. The self control this man had. I was such an idiot. <laughs> so <laughs> dumb. No, but dude, I just got out of a bad relationship. I was oh, hurting oh, something fierce. Dude, she, and I was like, you know what? She soccer punted your fucking heart oh, out of your my chest. God. It's bad. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm done. I was like a woman, like <laughs> Fuck, dudes! I just want to dance. He, I was like in that mindset. I was like, man, I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't even want these, these girls. Like, nah, I didn't want to like bang them and say goodbye. Jeff, Whatever. I was. Like, Jeff, shut it. The I just wanted a DJ. Jeff, shut it the fuck down. It, like it, the great, it was Dane Cook said, "Fuck chicks, I just want to dance." It was fucking incredible. I loved watching it because you could see you could see in a look in a girl's eye that she's like, Oh, it's on. It's gonna happen. And what happened was me driving us home every fucking night from DJ. <laughs> yeah, because you weren't I wasn't fucking and you weren't drinking. Yep. <laughs> Stone sober and Jeff was celibate. It was there's a probably the there, gayest thing we've ever done together. <laughs> Besides that one time, but we won't talk about that on air. That day. <laughs> no, but. You're saving for my wedding night to tell the story? 
the, <laughs> yeah. In all honesty, I, that's that's the day that I look forward to most now. Is that day? Cause, yeah. Because first off, I'm just going to the amount of stories. All of our stories are already going to be heard. Let's be honest. We're it's going to be. It's done now. It, it, these stories, which I kept between a tight circle, are now going to be extended to the masses. And you know what? But you know what? Everyone has. I hope people listen to this and they're like, they start like remembering their crazy, wild sexcapades and and just being young and dumb and full of cum and hey, just and hey, going, man, going crazy, man. And don't be afraid at forty one to go out there and hammer out some ass because you can still do it. It's Where fun, going, boys. It's fun, man. Use your dick. <laughs> You don't know how many of those hard ons you got left once you hit over forty. I know. Fuck. We should have like a like a DM DM me a, us your wildest shit. Maybe we'll talk about it next week. We do have a DM. DM me. A, DM us at uh, the T H T G D podcast one on Instagram or on Twitter the same your wildest sexcapades wildest sexcapades or email when us when our guest does come on should we say his name oh people it's not his last name we'll just tease it yeah when Steve comes on when Mr Steve. when Mr Beck comes on Mr Beck will be on hopefully Google it. hopefully very soon <laughs> but he's got the stories of all stories Frankie's got some stories I can't wait Frankie Frankie's got Fuck stories Angry Orchard but- isn't this a fucking Angry. domestic? Yeah, it is. So why do I have to get a fucking bottle opener? Because it's a cider. It's not a beer. Uh, Red's Apple Ale, sir. Yeah, that's Red's made Apple by Ale. Mil- Ever heard of it? Yeah, it's made by Miller. Ever heard of it? Same Miller bottle. It's a Miller. <laughs> it's, it's a Miller genuine draft bottle. That, that this that's is it. crisp apple. Yes. You know what? Call it what you want. I was a huge beer drinker. And then I got a little older and more sophisticated, and I switched over to these orchards. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't, like, enjoy taste of beer. Like, it's not the best thing. Like, if I had to choose between a fucking Code Red Mountain Dew or a beer to, like, quench my thirst and, like, something to enjoy, I'd pick the fucking Mountain Dew. But if I'm at a party, like, ready to get loose and buck wild, I'm going to take that beer. So I was like, why not get a beer that tastes good? Right? Reds, I'm right Angry Orchard. You, it tastes good and it's getting me fucked up. Like, why would I do that instead of drinking something that tastes like shit and is getting me fucked up as well? I'm not in high school anymore buying fucking Ice House because it's got the highest alcohol percentage. Milwaukee's Beast. Ugh. Best Bush. Oh, fuck Bush. No, Ice House was the shit, though. Ice and House. then it was Miller. Was it Miller Light? Or was it Miller Ultra Light? What was the one? Which Dude, one? it was like $7 for a 30 That was my beer bong in days. So when you're in high school, you didn't have much money. Oh, look at him go. He just shotgunned a beer. It took three seconds. Look at him go. <laughs> Impressive. <sighs> so when you're in high school, you want the cheapest beer, but you also want the highest alcohol percentage. Yep. So it was always Ice House. Ice House. So it was like fucking, what, 12% or something? 7%. Seven, That's think, it? Yeah. It's like 7 or 8%. Oh. It's still, it was one of the highest. But then as I got older... We went to the the beer pong and the beer bong phase. So it was all about the quantities of beer for the price. Yeah. So it went from like, you know, 8% alcohol to high life. That's what it was. Ugh. High life. 30 beers for like seven bucks. My worst thing was back came when you were allowed life. to put beer in the beer pong cups 
now you have to have like water in the cups and your beer on the side because don't want to be passing the COVID outside germs. Kids were getting sick at college, <laughs> getting herpes from all those cups, all the herps and the dirty ball. I wouldn't even think about it. The ball falls off the table and rolls like behind the dryer. <laughs> you're just lit and cat hair. <laughs> just dropping it in the water cup. Yeah, dude. <laughs> And then they tossed it. They tossed it into my cup, and I'm like, fuck, oh, I got to drink it. He made it. <laughs> That's the type of dumb fun shit I miss. I do miss that. I mean, I shotgun that beer just because it was time to well, shotgun. Salute to you, beer. sir. I didn't to... even time it. Why don't you grab another one? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> what time is it? It's time, it's time to shut her down. You want me to tell my wild story and then we'll go? Yes, sir. All right. Country Thunder. So you already know it's going to be good. Salute to all you people who suck around. <laughs> Country Thunder. This is an Easter egg almost. It's been a wild, crazy night. I hate country music. But Country Thunder is the cat's meow. You want to go for entertainment. Girls are hot. The guys are hot. The beer is cold. <laughs> the air is thick. It smells like asshole. There's always a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I went with uh, Milady. Not the one I have now. Another lady from back in the day who will remain nameless. Anyway, Country Thunder. It's like a fucking, it's the middle of a goddamn cornfield. Biggest fucking country concert in the United States is in our small little town in Midwestern fucking Americana. It's always raining. Then it gets hot as shit. There's dirt everywhere. You fall and your clothes are dirty. You got dirt on your hands. You know, you're rubbing it on your face. It's dirt. Anyway, long day. We decide to get it on. In the backseat of my red trailblazer <laughs> no blazer they were blazers back they then. were blazers back then or they were trailblazers back of a red blazer Ooh, we were sauced up a lot of things were happening back there sean a lot of things we had no air, air mattress no blanket windows were rolled up it was hot steamy sweaty i'm going down on her Oh, we do whatever oh, oh, yes. after a day after a day of after country a thunder. Day of country oh. thunder. I go down on this girl grilled cheese sandwich. What's up? Whatever, yada yada. There's something just don't seem right. Something's not going right down there. Oh, something's off. Oh, and I can't tell if it's because it's so goddamn hot in there. Our bodies are just soaked with sweat. It was it was crazy. So whatever happened, happened, yada, yada. I get up in the morning, and we were at a campsite with some other people. We get up in the morning. They're up. We roll out of the back. Oh, she left or something, and the dude's like, dude, you still got, like, dirt on your face. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I, like, wipe it, and it's like, Kind of like mud still. Oh no! I fucking smell it. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, she shit a little bit. Damn! I got shit. <laughs> oh, bro. My cheeks, my beard. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, if that doesn't kill your boner, I don't know what will. Enjoy your day at work or whatever you're doing. <laughs> I'll stay on the road. But just remember, if you are listening to this at work and you're having a shit day, just say to yourself, <laughs> at least I'm not it's sure. not that bad. <laughs> you could have shit on your face. <laughs> and with that being said 
Woo. That'll bring us to another close of a wonderful edition of The Gentleman's Den. Called me shithead for a month. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. We're sorry if we <laughs> ruined your day. But uh, fuck, like I said. I can't believe this is going on the internet. We are the Valtrex of audio, baby. Well, I hope my mom comes back down here so I can apologize to her, to her <laughs> face for what I've said on this podcast tonight. As but always. It was episode 69, and I wanted it to be special, as did Sean. And as, I hope we did. As always, dicks out for Harambe, and Epstein didn't kill himself. Thanks for listening. And why not support us? Head over to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all your gentleman's den needs. Buy a shirt, buy a hat, buy a koozie, buy a fucking something. I don't care if you buy a button. Buy something from us because we love you guys and we want you to show us the love back. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that wonderful shit. I want some more comments, even if they're yeah. shitty. Dude, tell, tell us I we suck. suck. Send us emails, <laughs> tell us that we suck. <laughs> The gentleman's done pod at gmail.com. Just come on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of it, all of it. But until next week, thanks again. We will see you around down the road.